Welcome to Bob Pulte Chevrolet's YouTube channel. I want to talk about the 2024 EV tax credit on new and used uh, and try to get you as much information as possible until the IRS and the federal government changes their mind, which never happens, so don't worry about that. Currently, uh, first we're going to start with adjusted gross income. I will refer to it as AGI after uh, this. Uh, I'm going to put two different links in the, uh, in the information section only because I am finding contradictory information. One's from the IRS, one is from fueleconomy.gov, which is the site that uh, they're directing everybody to. So we'll go with the fueleconomy.gov information, which is uh, for married filing jointly, as long as you are $300,000 or lower, uh, with uh, just filing as head of household, $225,000 filing uh, individually $150,000. Now, different IRS one I found, $150,000, $112,500, and $75,000 for the three AGI categories. I'm going with the fueleconomy.gov one until proven otherwise, uh, and we'll, you can get that verified when you're in the process of purchasing. Also, uh, on the, the vehicle, on the new side, SUVs have to be under $80,000, same with trucks, $80,000 or less. Cars, sedans, hatchbacks, flying vehicles, $55,000 or less. There is two separate parts to that. First part, $3,750. Uh, some of the EV battery components must be built or assembled in North America. Um, currently, you know, Chevy, GM, come on guys, we gotta get this fixed. So only right now the Bolt EV and the Bolt E, or sorry, Bolt EV and the Bolt EUV qualify. Uh, they're working on getting that corrected for the Blazer, Silverado, and the uh, Equinox. Uh, and then always check with the manufacturer and with the dealership, make sure that the vehicle does qualify. Second part of that, it's another thirty-seven hundred fifty dollars. Critical minerals and battery mined or processed in the U.S. or free trade agreement partners. Um, I'm not in, uh, oh, I used to be in the geopolitical, uh, sciences, but, uh, I don't know exactly who qualifies for that. I'm guessing if it comes from Canada, you're good. Mexico, you're good. Korea, for example, you're good. Uh, on the U side, uh, the max is $4,000. Sale price has to be $25,000 or less. Sale price, not the overall amount, including taxes. That's very important information. So... Like I said, we'll start with max out $7,500 credit. By the way, I should let you know, tax credit means it's coming off the sale price. So you're buying a $47,500 new EV electric vehicle and you get all $7,500, that sale price will now be $40,000. You do not have to wait till tax time to have that money come off. It is being uh, fronted to you and as long as you, at the end of the year, meet the AGI requirements, you are good. Now on the U side, the $4,000, same thing. So it's $25,000 sale price on the vehicle. You're going to be paying $21,000 before the government gets their share, sales tax, documentation fees, things like that. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 513-932-0303. Uh, we will answer them for you. Uh, you can leave questions in the comments section. Uh, I will answer them to the best of my abilities. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the Internet Director here. I want to thank you for your time and thank you for uh, listening to me ramble about taxes, geopolitical situations involving minerals, all these things I never thought I would have to talk about in my career. But uh, I actually do find it rather fascinating. So thank you, everybody. Have a great day.